Probably have faster speed reeling. Oh, yep. <clears throat> Got something. Oh, nice. Oh, she's a big one. Cost you my will. Might break my line. He's just taking my line, dude. Oh, no. Oh, Yellow cut. 50 meters out now. Jeez. Oh, not, not a time to be doing emotes, okay? Jeez. Yeah, this has got to be a big fish. Oh, I got a fish as well. Oh my god. really going to try to reel this in. It might take me a little bit, but I think I could probably tire it out. Yeah. Because uh, we're kind of at the max distance that it can be, and it hasn't broke yet, so. Drop the tension a little bit. Give her a little yanky. Little yank over here. Pretty much. Try to do everything. To increase the, the torque or whatever it is, the real line. It's like cracking a safe, you gotta find that sweet spot where the mm -hmm. line like eases up a lot and then just fucking give it a whole bunch. Yeah, we're <laughs> What's up, zombie? How you doing, man? Yes, I got mine. Oh, that was a battle. Northern Pike. Yep, there it is. Thank I'm you. gonna wait. So mine's 1.9948. Wonder what you get. I'm gonna take a screenshot. So I, I'm not gaining any line. I'm bouncing like between 49 and 51 meters right now. This is insane. Come on. How do you like that fish? How do you like that? But good, man. Hey, it's coming back. It's coming back a little bit. Back and forth action here. <clears throat> About 30 meters. Let's go. Come on, you're mine. They do get very wild once they get close to the shore, though. That's how I lost my last huge fish that was like this. Pull it up and it's just a boot. <laughs> yeah, a bit of seaweed. <laughs> a little bit of seaweed, a rock, a boot, you know. Spare tire. <laughs> like, man, I got a big one. Just keep pulling up oh, trash. Gosh, this is big, guys. Get ready. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Right I'm going to feed here. a whole Asian bar with this fucking amount of seaweed, baby. Let's go. Come on. I don't even see it yet. Where is it? Have you tried seaweed, Cosme? Yeah. It's okay. Oh, this. Pretty popular in Australia. I got another one. I think it's even bigger than the one I had before. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, under 10 meters and it's getting wild. Come out. Come on.
Right. Bro's got the fit, but he ain't right. got the skills to match, you know what I mean? <laughs> Bro's got the freaking patch of the year shirt on. There it is. <clears throat> Here we go. Hey yo! Talk shit a little bit. And then... Yeah, it was the pike. <clears throat> I was gonna say it was it was kind of acting like one. They're really quick, man. Release him back into the water. No diamond, but you know, it was a pike. Let's go to the souvenir shop. Souvenir shop. Oh, nice. He's he's rocking the the boot short combo too. Look at us. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we set the fashion here, zombie. All right, that's good. Yeah, all right, perfect. Huh. Probably gonna be fishing off the front here as well. Yep. Try out any fishing rod. Right? Definitely recommend the gloves. Makes your hands look not so jank. I know. I feel like my guy's fit works better without it, but you should put some on you. Where your fishing rod sounds weird, what the hell? Mine does? Yeah, on my screen. Oh, it's a reel, okay. Yeah. Do you hear my reel when I'm really it in? It's like, wow, wow. Mm-hmm. Oh. I see your fish. That looks like a mighty fine fish you picked up there. Not letting me have it not easy though, that's okay. Oh yeah. Got a trout. Think it's another pike. Another pike? Yep. Heck yeah. Yeah, there is one right there. Save it and move it in, I guess. Yeah, saw him go for it. Stupid fish. <laughs> Brook trout, silver. We're getting there. Having good luck with this rod. This is what I was using mainly last stream. So. Just got some luck on her. Oh, that's a big one. Pike. Oh, don't you dare fight for every inch here, geez. Like I said, real life favorite fish to catch right here, northern pike. Got him all, yeah, I went all the way out to 75, I dragged him into 50, and then he's back at 60. You know. Yep. I'm just going to keep going, I think he'll eventually he'll just oh. have to give up. Snap my line. Yep. He went all the way out to 70, and I had to give zero torque to it, otherwise he would have snapped it. I was a little aggressive on it, I'm not going to lie. We were at like 65. And 85 at the moment. Slightly bringing him in. 90, 100, bringing him in 30 meters. Get ready for to take a fucking photo and put this one on Instagram and show the boys. <laughs> 
I have the camera ready. Get the net, get the net. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, he's huge. Come on, you fucking bastard. <laughs> it's a huge Go on, my, you're getting on my Instagram get him, real good. Get him. Holy. Oh. That's gold. Hell yeah. That's uh, 6.42 kilos, 72.67 centimeters. Jeez. The, all I would say is I think they do have an endurance bar. I was fighting that guy for 10 minutes. He had my line all the way out. I gave it zero and just let him freaking fight around. Yeah. And eventually, he just let me have it. I'm taking a photo of that one. It's sick. I like how, like, the knowledge of the fishing will depend on, like, the size of fish that you get. Because, like, if you just, like, go out and you don't upgrade your reel and just put, like, corn on your on your line, you're just going to catch some bluegills and stuff all day. Start doing the spinning fish, or, you know, the spinner rods and that kind of thing. You actually get a completely different thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like the different times it all plays together. Yep. So, one meter. They're in a pretty deep spot in this little channel. Oop, that's a bite. Oh, there's a big one. Pulling out. Yep. Maybe. Come on. We need a gold to move on from this expert challenge. Don't mind. I'm just whipping you with my uh, fishing rod. Oh, man. There's a big one. Barely can get to fifty percent. Come on, baby, you can get it. Just play the long game with it if you have to. Yeah. Drop it all the way down to zero if you need it. Yes, do this very slowly is my suggestion. Like, look around until you get the white line and just slowly build it up. He's going. Hook them probably at about 20 meters or no, about 35. Come on. Come on. I don't know what this is going to be. Should definitely be a gold. Probably a, uh, this might go. One with a sharp teeth. Oh. Mm -hmm. Increase on that was wild. Oh, baby. It is taking it. And some, losing some. The baby one again, I think. Come on. Get up to the surface. Big fine. Is this from uh, channel catfish? Oh, yeah. Holy. Got it. Massive. That is a massive a fish. Oh, wait, no, that's a that burbot. A catfish or a burbot? It's a burbot. Four and a half kgs. That's not a big old, right? 73 centimeters, yep. Hell yeah. Oh, baby.
Congratulations, you've completed all of the Tackle Academy classes and challenges. You are now equipped with the knowledge you need to go out and become a Master Angler. As a reward, we're sending you off with a few gifts. Oh, there's more machines uh, back up here in the place. Got a thousand credits for that. That's pretty cool. Nice. You wanna go get more or keep fishing? Yeah, let's uh fast travel back. Or do you wanna cruise in the boat? Um, I mean, we're not too far. Let's just cruise in the boat. Yeah. Got you. Being lazy. Bottom fishing rigs have a light, flexible end called a quiver tip. This is what you'll be looking at for bite indicators. The fish is nibbling at the bait. You'll see a short, sharp movements at the tip. When a fish is biting, the tip will bend even more. Be sure to keep the rod at an angle to your cast under just enough tension to give slight bend. Be careful not to get too excited, though. Natural ebb and flow of the water current will cause some tip movement, too. Oh, that's cool. Oh, my. Back. Catch a yellow corn. perch with a size hook. Yep, and corn. Didn't really catch if I'm supposed to be consistently reeling for this, or are we just looking to kind of bounce off the bottom here? I gotta keep it at an angle. Bit of that. Catch one quick the first time, don't you? Great. <laughs> Let's say this guy rolls up. Oh, here we go. Something going on. Ooh. Rolls up. Throws his rod and or his line out there and just catches one. Yeah, I got one coming in though. I go. Tiniest little yellow perch. Got an eleven for the score on that one. Nicely done. While bottom fishing, moving bait around will progressively less effective, so it's best to cast as accurately as you can. Oh, okay. Hop in, fella. Oh. Is this my fishing Uber? Can I hop in? Can you get in? No. Okay, no. Sure. Weird. I'll just run, I guess. Use my legs. Stop being lazy. Now let's try something different. A shovel nose sturgeon love to lurk, but they are not so keen on corn. Remember the bait will become more effective as it sits at the bottom, but less effective if repeatedly retrieved after it is settled. They don't like that. It wants about some the, the boilies. Our boilies? Yeah. Size of the Let's go. A shovel nose sturgeon. A juvenile, though. And a little tiny one.
Well done. You should now have everything you need to go try bottom fishing in various locations across the reserve. Cool. So, let me bring up my journal again. Doody, doody. Hey, hello, fish. Buckaroo. I'm down at Silver Strand Meadow now. If you wanted to drop by. <laughs> this guy, man. They said they like spoon, cheese, marshmallow, eggs, and spinner. So kind of anything will work, really. Yeah. Besides minnow and all that stuff. Oh, there we go. Got some nibbles. Let go. Oh, baby. Oh, that's an issue. That's an issue. What happened? There you go. You couldn't secure him. Hey, yo, I got a brook trout. Silver. Brook trout. That's yeah. what I've been trying to get. The brook trout? Uh, yeah, a trout. Yeah. Kind of trout. So I did the... It's the buckwheat, the tyro with a size seven, I think it was. Mm -hmm. okay. Fluorocarbon cigar floater. Uh, the hook size is a seven with cheese. Yeah, lots of lots of tiger musky tonight. Northern pike. We had the uh, kokanee salmon, and then a rainbow trout, a brook trout. Crazy, but yeah, uh, er yeah. Of course, uh, you're welcome to join us. Uh, everybody's always welcome to join in. I don't know what compatibility is across Steam to Xbox. Sometimes it's an issue, so I'm just giving that fair warning. Um, Cause we got it on Game Pass, but. We've had issues in the past with other games. Some of them work flawlessly though, because this one looks like it uses Apex Connect, so it's like its own like uh multiplayer kind of thing. But uh appreciate everybody that swung by here tonight. We'll be live tomorrow, same time, same place. Uh get, keep an eye out for those CSG servers. We'll be going live tomorrow as well. So uh like I said, didn't expect to be fishing as long and uh <laughs> gotta get some sleep now, but uh we'll get those up and uh We'll catch you guys tomorrow. You guys have a good rest of your night.